And he's the 12th president here at Denmark Tech. I had the chance to speak with Dr. Willie Todd, and he says that he's focused on students. His resume, an impressive one, with stops at a number of HBCUs before joining Denmark Tech as his vice president of academic affairs and student services last July. His appointment comes as enrollment dwindles with a little more than 500 students registered and other improvements like updated buildings are needed. A lot of the things here on the campus were what I would call low hanging fruit. We're looking at painting, we're looking at cleaning, we're looking at minor repairs. But then in addition to that, we also have received some grants from the USDA that we're looking at. Now fresh scrutiny after a report revealed that money reserved for Denmark Tech in last year's budget was used to pay for personnel rather than training equipment for programs, but Dr. Todd says those issues have already been corrected. When that happened, we were under the governance of State Tech, and there was a State Tech appointed employee who actually rechanneled those funds. As we had an opportunity to hire our own CFO, as soon as he came on board, he realized that the funds had been rechanneled, and he immediately put those funds back. The school has been put on a one-year probationary status period, up from a warning, risking its accreditation. SAC CLC will actually be visiting our campus in October. And when we went to the SACS conference in December, there was nothing that they told us that we weren't already aware of. Aware of one of those things centered around governance, and then the other part of that deals with uh, financial stability. But his dedicated faculty and staff, Dr. Todd feels, is the strength of the college, as well as his programs that will help the community go to the next level. In the next five years, he see a college that is fiscally sustainable. And Dr. Christopher Hall has been serving in an interim president role here at the college for quite some time. We've learned that he's still a part of the Denmark Tech family. He's currently helping in continuing education. In Denmark, South Carolina, I'm Aiken Bureau Chief Sean Capuchstock, WJBF News Channel 6.